Hi everyone, welcome again to the APM Tutorials. I am Aditya from Socialize Automations. So in this video, we will be seeing how we can launch our APM server programmatically, okay? Using the Apache Common Execution API. So before we proceed, first of all, I would like to tell there are several we can do that. Let's see the different different way. So how we can do it? We can launch our APM server programmatically via using the APM driver and local service and APM service builder. For that, I already have shared a separate tutorial. You can find the link above. And we can also use the Java standard process builder class, okay, to execute some external uh, external file to process some external file, or you can also use the Apache Common Executions API file to execute the uh, external file okay, or external process. So throughout this video, we'll be seeing how we can do it using the Apache Common Execution API. So if you want to know more about Apache Common Execution API, just go to their website. You will find different uh, all the packages, all the class and method has been implemented for under this API, okay. Okay, now let's see the example that I've written. What do we need to do? Uh, just like for earlier case, I need to. I will be doing the same here also. Uh, you need to provide the string node path, API, uh, API uh, main JavaScript path, and this is simply data format written for my console purpose that will be printing when my APM server starting and stopping. Okay, so node path. This path will be located basically if you install the Node.js applications, you need to install it. So where the installation file will go, the installation file will go here, okay. For my case, I have installed this program and it's located here, node uh, inside C drive program files node.js. So you need to provide the exe file path, okay. This is node, this file you need to provide, I provided the file path, okay. Now I need to provide APM JavaScript path. Basically, this is a main, uh, APM main JavaScript path you need to provide, see where it's located. See user laptop app data inside local program and APM desktop. I'm using the desktop version also, okay. But uh, if you if you guys already using the desktop versions and you are already bored or you don't want to manually trigger it every time, so in that case we will be doing this. Uh, so it's located uh, inside this uh, path. Let me find the path. Show you. So first C drive users laptop. Inside that app data, app data inside this, uh, inside this uh, it will be programs, then uh, Apache APM desktop, inside the resource, then app module, then node modules. Inside node module, I need to find the APM folder. Inside APM folder, I'm navigating to the build, inside build the library. Now we'll see there's lots of JavaScript file. You need to consider only the main dot JavaScript file, okay? Not the apm.js. You will be taking only main dot js. So this is the path basically. It's located the whole the path I've already, uh, I have already been provided here itself, okay? So apm b library main dot js. Uh, so that's two path you need to provide. That's all. And let's see the first start server command what I've written. So you need to use the uh, command line class uh, of Apache. Uh, that's coming for Apache Commons Executor API. So you need the command line command, new command CMD. I will be using the CMD and inside this object, command object, now I'm adding arguments. First argument C, then I'm argument adding argument, adding the node path, then APM JavaScript path, then address, address only false, I'm given. And uh, um, this is the IP address I provided, port false and port address I will be provided. The full reset I've given it added this argument. So accordingly you can provide no reset, full reset, everything, log level. If you want to generate the log, you need to provide the log level. You can also um, generate the log in some external file also. Okay. For each and everything, you need to provide the separate separate argument. Okay. Suppose you don't um, I, I don't want to generate the log in my console. So I provided it as a false. The next thing you need to do default executor result handler, it will handle the whatever I passed as a common argument. It will handle this external process, okay? Created one object result handler, the new default execution handler, and default executor executor object inside then I'm passing set exit value one and executing what I'm executing all the commands line argument that I passed in so command line argument commands, comma result handler, okay? So the external process. So this is how it will execute all the things that I pass through my command line interface. Okay, so it will launch my server in that uh, designated IP address in that port port I've mentioned 4724 in that port. Okay, for my case, I already launched this server before. Uh, 
Um, and the next thing, um, I'm printing the uh, starting the APM server new date. Who, who, which date format? Date format I've given. Simply, it's uh, writing uh, when the uh, APM server is getting started. Test server I'm printing. This is dummy test. And how we can stop the server? Same thing you need to do. You need to use the command line command object and command line. I'm passing argument C. Is a control C basically. Uh, and passing um, task kill, whatever the task I want to kill, node.exe. This is the task I want to kill, so it will uh, close this particular task. And I'm handling all this, this and executing this using the uh, default execution result handler with the result handler object and default execution executor object. So execute set exit value one and executed common and result handler passing the same way. Okay, and that format I'm <coughs> printing when my when the API server is getting stopped, okay. So this is pretty much simple code, and uh, this code you will be writing as a APM server utility, and in your code you will be using APM server uh, dot start server, APM server dot uh, stop server. So you, you, you can easily just uh, call this all this method through this class, okay. So why not we let uh, run it and see the result? Just uh, as I'm using the test ng, we'll be running a test ng. So just click on run, and we'll see the result. Starting the APM server. And no console log will be generated as are given as the argument, the log level falls. It will take some time as a given thread to sleep as in 20 seconds. So initially in the server, it's better to provide some uh, good amount of time. Okay, so this is a dummy test that has been successfully executed and all this thing executed. Okay, now if you want to get the log, so just so either we can uh, make it true or can we can just disable it okay so let me just disable Okay, so so we can see the, all the logs are getting printed, and this is a dummy test that is getting printed. Okay, so if you want the log, just make it enable, and log level will be false. If you make it false, the log won't be appeared. Either make it true or just disable it. You will get the log itself. Okay, so that's a pretty simple example how we can do it the launch apm server using the apache common executive api okay so that's all for today guys uh, if you have any questions please do let me know in the below comment sections okay so thanks for watching have a good day